Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to create a daytime smoky look that's a little bit bronzy and perfect for summer. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So as many of you know, I now have an online beauty consulting service, which is where you get to talk to me one on one and pick my brain about any beauty concerns. So if you want to talk about the makeup collection you already own and you just want some advice on how to do application or makeup techniques or Maybe you want some advice on some of the luxury beauty products on the market and you want someone's unbiased advice because I don't work for any brand in particular. I work for myself. So if you want to make an appointment, click the link in the description box down below. So today's look is inspired by the Westman Atelier iPods. These came out, I think a year ago, maybe even longer. And I liked these and used these a lot more when they first came out, but you know what it's like, something comes out, you get mildly obsessed with it, and then eventually it kind of moves to the back of the drawer. And then I just reached for them the other day and I created a really beautiful look, so I thought I could share that with you today. I'm using a lot of old and new mixed together. The newest items are maybe like a month or two into my collection, nothing like super, super brand new, which I kind of like. I like mixing old and new together just to give you a refreshing take on some of the products you probably already own. So first step will be the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 001. This is a classic, an oldie, but a goodie. So I want this to be a wearable daytime smoky. So it's not going to be black, but it is going to be in like that warm, bronzy family of colors. So I'm starting off with the liner first, and this is the Chanel Waterproof Liner in the shade 88. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this everywhere. This is going in the top waterline, bottom waterline, the top lash line, and bottom lash line as well. It's really going to be everywhere. All right, and we're done today's makeup look. I'm just kidding, oh my God, no. <laughs> this looks a little bit wonky at first, but this is just the base. And now we're going into the iPods and we're going into the shade called Chocolat or Chocolate. Now I'm going into my BK Beauty Brush 207 and I really like this shape because the bristles are short and stacked and I find that this just buffs in a color really nicely. It's almost a blend between an eyeshadow brush and then a pencil brush to smudge out liner. It's just a really good brush. So I'm going into this Chocolat shade here and this is going over top of the liner and all over the lid here. And I'm making sure to go into the lash line and just to smudge out that black liner. Now going back into this chocolate shade, let's go under the lashes here and blend out this liner. Okay, so next I'm going to use my refer brush number 15. This is a fluffy blending brush and I'm going into the bronzer that I'm going to use on my face later. This is the Shantikai Serena Real Bronze and this has a really lovely gel texture, but it also works nicely on the eyes too. So we're just placing this in the crease here and blending out that chocolate shade. And then I'm taking a pencil brush, this is the Refer 26, and I'm taking this on the bottom here just to help blend out the shadow that I placed earlier and the liner. Okay, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. There wasn't any fallout, I just want to get rid of any darkness in the inner corner, so using a Q-tip and a little bit of eye cream. I'm just going to clean this up a little. Okay, so I think for the time being, I'm going to move on to complexion and then I'll finish up the eyes afterwards. So I'm gonna go into my Chantikai Future Skin Cushion Compact here and I have the shade called Nude. 
Now, you can apply the foundation with a little puff that comes with, but I kind of like to go in with a separate brush just because I'm extra like that. This is the Shantakai Buff and Blur. All of the brushes are listed in the description box, but I know that a lot of you like when I just say what brush it is as I go. So I'm using this to like get the product and then also blend it out. Now I still have the refill for this cushion here because when you buy it, you automatically get a second cushion underneath. You just have to make sure you don't throw it out when you open up the box. So I'm still using the, like the original foundation in here, but I don't know how much longer it's going to last me. I think I'm reaching towards the end. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with a cushion because you can't really see the volume of foundation inside and then for the concealer clé de peau as usual just a little dot here and outside here on a side note my hair is getting so long and i'm so happy about it i was supposed to get a haircut earlier this spring but i decided to do it at the end of summer because i just want to keep growing up my hair I don't know, I go through these phases where I'm like, mm, chop it all off, no, keep it super long. And I know this sounds counterintuitive, but the longer my hair is, the better it is for summer because it's easier to put up in a bun. Whereas when it's shorter, it's just hard to collect all the little curly pieces and I end up having like 30 bobby pins in the back of my head. But the longer it is, the better. I'm loving my lime green neon nail polish. I love a bold nail but I kind of wish it was blue to go with my jumpsuit here. Okay, it's been several seconds. Let's go ahead and just blend this out. Now I'm going into my Chantecaille Flower Power Finishing Blurring Powder here. It was the Hummingbird palette or powder, but now it's Flower Power. Just to get rid of some of the shine and also just to add a nice little blur to my complexion. Now going back into my eye pods, I'm going into the shade called Taba. This is a beautiful color. And what I'm going to do is just taking my finger here, I'm just going to put a little bit on the center just to bring a little bit of brightness because this is kind of a dark look. And this is kind of a goldy color. It's a little bit lighter than the color we put on earlier you're still getting that smoky, bronzy look, but just a little bit lightened. And then I'm using this Chantecaille Brow Lift Eclat. It's just one of those pencils to highlight your brow bone. So I'm just going to place it here and that just helps give your brow that little bit of a lift. And then I just tap it in with a finger. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm going into my Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Magnet Lashes and I'm going to put on lots and lots of mascara. Now let's go back into my Serena bronzer, but let's use it as an actual bronzer this time. I like this rougher brush number four because it's at an angle, so I just find it's a really good shape to sort of sculpt a little bit and just get into that cheekbone. And then for the blush, I'm going to go into my Dior Backstage. This is the rosy color, the cool toned one. I think this will look nicely with what I'm wearing today. And the blush brush here is a Ruffer 18. Now for the highlighter, I'm gonna go into my By Terry palette, but I could have used this earlier for the bronzer and blush. I just chose not to. Maybe what I'll do is add just like a little hint of this pink blush here. Just, I don't know, because for fun, for being extra. And then I'll go into the highlighter and I'm actually using a eyeshadow brush. This is the Refer 16. It's a very fluffy blending brush, but it's actually pretty good for highlighter as well. You can just get on to the high points of your cheek here. You just don't want to, you know, mix these up. Make sure you clean these before you 
use it for um, eyeshadow again, but it just works really nicely. And then I'm just going to hit that little brow bone here again with some powder highlighter. And now for the lips, I'm gonna go into a very old favorite of mine. I'm gonna go into my Chanel Rouge Coco Flash 82 Live or Live. I like the Rouge Coco Bloom, but I really love the Flash formula. It's more glossy and slick, and I kind of like that for a summer look. Now, the final touch of any look is actually the fragrance. And I think I'm gonna go into my Givenchy L'Interdit. This is the Eau de Parfum, but this is the new summer edition. It's called Millisim, and it's lighter than the classic Eau de Parfum, I would say. There's more orange, more neroli, it's a citrusy, floral fragrance, and I think it's a really nice daytime perfume. There's also some musk, some bitter orange, like the rind or zest of an orange, orange blossom. So it's just like a lighter, fresher summer take on the Givenchy Etel Di perfume. All right, this is my take on a daytime, smoky summer look. I think this is beautiful. I think this is very wearable for every day. You could add even more liner if you wanted to. Like we put the liner on the bottom. It's like the first color or first layer. If you wanted to make this even darker, you could go back in with the liner once the shadow was blended and add more liner over top and on the bottom too. This would make it even darker and a bit more smoky, but I think like this, this is beautiful, perfect for summer weather. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I definitely have some other summer inspired makeup looks coming in the near future. I have a couple that are going to be brand specific, but if you have any other summer makeup looks, you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you take the time to subscribe and you can also hit that little notification bell on the side so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. All right guys, I think this is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.